Good morning, guys. So today has been a bit of an emotional day, a bit of an emotional start to the day. I actually just had my first session with a psychologist. So I'm a big believer in therapy. I think it's a powerful tool. My opinion on therapy is if you want to get good at tennis, you get a tennis coach. If you want to get your life more in order, you get a life coach, aka a therapist. And I was in therapy for a while. I had a therapist and because he had known me for four years, he knew everything about me. I didn't need to unpack the past because he'd already heard it. We would more so focus on the present and the future. He would give me great advice. He would call me out when I needed to be called out. It was a really great experience. But then he retired to teach psychology at university. I got a lot out of the sessions that I had with him and I haven't been uh, doing sessions with anybody ever since because I just thought it would be really overwhelming going and starting from scratch with somebody, having to unpack all of my trauma, all of the reasons why I'm in therapy. I'm trying to heal and a step towards the direction of healing is going and seeing somebody. So I finally made the decision to try and find somebody new to go and see. And I had my first session this morning and I really like the guy that I spoke to. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot out of these sessions, but the first session was a lot. Stuff just came flooding out of me because I felt like I had to, you know, unpack a lot in a short amount of time to share why I'm there, like where I've come from so that we could start talking about where we're going. I walked out of there just feeling raw. I didn't really want to talk about all the stuff that I was talking about. And now I'm like, I'm about to go to the gym. I'm just going to try and shake it all off. Try and, you know, like zone in and, and you know, run on the treadmill because I'm, I'm feeling raw right now. That's where I'm at today. I just thought I would share that with you guys because these videos, you know, while I'm trying to make videos and, and be fun again and share some stuff with you guys, uh, I'm also trying to be honest and, and share the process of healing too. So while I was at the gym, I was listening to something in Atomic Habits that I wanted to share with you guys. And this is something that I learned the first time I listened to Atomic Habits five years ago and started implementing into my life. So I never particularly liked cooking. Ironically, I love making videos about cooking. I used to enjoy filming other people cooking. And then during COVID and lockdown, I started making cooking videos and it wasn't the cooking of the food that I was particularly passionate about. It was the process of making a creative cooking video that I was passionate about, which is something called temptation bundling. Sorry, I just got to switch my alarm off. And that leads me to the passage from the book that I wanted to share with you guys. And it says the second law of behavior change is make it attractive. The more attractive an opportunity is, the more likely it is to become habit forming. Habits are a dopamine driven feedback. When dopamine rises, so does our motivation to act. It is the anticipation of the reward, not the fulfillment that gets us to take action. The greater the anticipation, the greater the dopamine spike. Temptation bundling is one way to make your habits more attractive. The strategy is to pair an action you want to do with something you need to do. And that's what I've been doing with the gym as well, because at the moment I'm still not wanting to go to the gym that much, but I'm wanting to listen to this audio book. And I can't sit still and listen to audiobooks. I need to be emotional. I temptation bundle audiobooks. And if you're like me and you're stuck in a rut, try temptation bundling. Try taking something that you want to do 
and pair it with something that you don't want to do. Like maybe you want to watch the latest episode of Power, download it on your phone and tell yourself you can only watch it while you're on the treadmill. So that way, while you're on the treadmill where you'd normally be thinking, I don't want to do this, I should be getting off, you're actually thinking, even though I'm puffed out and my legs are getting sore, I don't want to get off yet because I want to see what's happening. You know what, maybe power is a bad example because power is really trash these days, but come up with a TV show that you like and uh, temptation bundle it. Obviously, I'm not an expert in this. I'm going through the healing process in real time. <laughs> is that what you wanted? Should we plan it today? Isn't it cool that it comes in its own bucket? Can we plant it now? Yeah. Okay, come on. I'll be Zoe got her love shot. You don't want to plant? <laughs> right. The kit comes with these two little soil pellets and it says to put them in a bowl and to add one cup of warm water. And then it becomes fluffy. Yep. So you want to add the warm water in? Let's tip it in. We have a Christmas theme measuring cup. All right, so we just have to allow it to sit there and dissolve. Let's just fully submerge it. Do you know what submerge means? No. It means to put underneath. Oh, look at that. See all the, the soils coming out mm -hmm. so we'll just let that sit for a little bit oh you guys are waiting i want to show you guys some tricks okay guys <laughs> zoe oh there's more there's more she's doing sit-ups in the air <laughs> I thought you were watching TV. Yeah, I just hey. <laughs> Did you see the dirt pellets? The Good job, Zoe. Dude, look how much they dissolve. Ooh. Maybe try to push them down. I want to help now. Oh, you want to help all of a sudden? Yeah. It's more fun than you thought. <laughs> because I'm bored of watching TV. <laughs> Even though I've only been watching for like five minutes. What were you watching that was so boring? I'm just watching Peach Builder. I'm making slime on random objects. Oh, cool. Like on a trampoline. All right, come on, dirt. Dissolve. Turn into mud. Turn into mud. Turn into mud. Yeah, oh, here we go. So you, you kind of looks like chocolate cake. <laughs> I don't want to be the worst tasting chocolate cake in the world. Wait, Hey, buddy. It's like mud pie. Collar's not it mud literally pie. is a mud pie. Why doesn't Birdie have his collar on? I have no idea. Now yeah, my hearing needs a day. Let me break it up a little bit. Oh my gosh. Don't get it all over your jumper. Go wash it. Mm -hmm. All right, it's getting nice and muddy. Birdie's like, what are you doing? Hi. We're just making mud pies. Oh, We've got the lavender. With my good balls. Ah, uh, I'll wash them. <laughs> I was hoping I could keep that a secret. Put it in the dirt. Push it. Push it underneath. And I'm back. Welcome back. Yay! I'm back to the world of the living. <laughs> you want to put it there? And we can check on it every day. Yeah, you're getting there. I was trying to learn a break dance. I think I want to move to ballet class. Oh, you want to do ballet instead of hip hop or acro? Yeah. Yeah, I think you'd be good at it. I mean, it kind of goes with gymnastics. Yeah, acro. No, ballet. I really want to do ballet. Well, when your acro trial is up, I've, I've enrolled her in acro and Zoe in hip hop classes recently, and um, you prepay for some of it, so. We'll wait until the ones that I've paid for are over and then we'll talk to them to see if mm -hmm. there's any places in ballet. Mm -hmm. I think you would be good at it. Yeah, I really want to do ballet. You did it when you were really little. You were mm -hmm. so cute in your ballerina outfit. 
How do you do that? My back is sore just watching you do that. Because I'm thinking about how painful it looks. Wow, I feel so old right now. This illustrates how big a generation gap I have with my kids. So I wanted to watch the Olympics and I asked Ava to channel surf and she's trying to figure out which button you press to um, like go through the channels. Because I've never done that before. I just type it in here what channel I want. She like watches I just YouTube like and this. Netflix or, or does the number. I was like, oh, Bluey, oh man. All right, we could, wa we could watch Bluey, then we'll watch the Olympics. Yay. I like Bluey as well. But I was saying, when I was a kid, oh, I sound so old, so when I was a kid, all we had was channel surfing. We didn't have Netflix, we didn't have YouTube. We just had to have like five different channels that we would flip through and pick the best one. Like It actually made us like the shows we watched Dad, better. Yeah. But Dad, um, I don't know what to choose. Should I watch Lincoln or Bluey? They're both on. Bluey, two of Bluey, my Bluey that's two against one. Bluey. I want a beam. You want a beam? Mm hmm When we get our own house, I'll get a beam and we'll set it up in the garage. With Ma? Mm-hmm. Yay. So good. Wow. <laughs> well, my hairdresser just did my hair and did my nails. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. <laughs> well, I'm glad I got out of that one. So I'm going to have a look. Would you like to see? Would you like to have your hair done? Yeah, I think I'm okay. Mm -hmm. 